Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in Daytona Beach, Florida. Daytona Beach, Florida, outside. Backyard Boys Barbecue. Backyard Boys Barbecue. Here to do their Buck Off Boy Challenge. Yes, Buck Off Boy. I like the name. So this is an absolutely massive barbecue challenge. This is definitely the biggest barbecue challenge in Florida. This is insane. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do this. This is nuts. So for this challenge, we have a full rack of St. Louis style ribs. We have a full rack of baby back ribs. We have what is, I believe, a pound of their sliced smoked beef. I think it's like a eye around, which is I've never had before. We have a, a pound of their sliced pork, which is apparently just like the pulled pork, but sliced versus pulled. Very unique. I like it. So it's pork butts nonetheless. I like butts. Let me know down below if you like butts. Hashtag butts. I don't know. I have to choose two sides. I'll probably go with my classics. I like beans. I like coleslaw. Um, I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, there's definitely a half chicken on there. And I think that's it. Oh, and sausage, and sausages. So this is massive. But anyway, guys, should have fun. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's head in, let's eat some food. I know we're gonna have 60 minutes to complete the challenge or to get the meal for free. And if we fail, it is somewhere around $100. So yeah, let's not do that. But anyway, let's head in, have fun with these food. And with that, let's get eaten. All right, everybody, so here we are with all the food. Looks very, very, very delicious. I was a little incorrect. There's actually three sides. So I have uh, green beans, which look amazing. I have coleslaw, which looks great. They make the dressing here and the coleslaw here. I have their house-made baked beans, which also look very good, very, very sticky sweet. I have um, the, it's a full chicken actually, and I think the rest was right. So again, we have the sliced rib, uh, eye of round, we have the sausage, the sliced pork, baby back ribs, full rack of St. Louis ribs, uh, and then three sides. I also have all the barbecue sauces. I have a mustard barbecue sauce. They make all these here. I have a flaming sweet barbecue sauce, which sounds really good. I have a hot barbecue sauce, which also sounds really good. I have the mild barbecue sauce, which sounds really good. And then I have the traditional sweet barbecue sauce, which sounds really good. The sausage and the baby backs are actually um, kind of coated with the sweet and then finished on the grill. And yeah, so I need to get started before this cools off. This is so much food, so much food. But I am excited. There's also pulled pork in the green beans. And uh, that's about that, guys. Wish me luck. A lot of food, giant challenge. So with that, let's get started here just momentarily. I'm probably gonna start with health, guys. I'm all about starting with some healthy veggies and coleslaw. I know there's some pickles and stuff too. I might get some more of that. But I'm gonna grab some of these sauces over here. I put some in little cups in addition. But anyway, I'm gonna stop stalling. Ugh. I'm ready to eat, so let's get a going. So how about we say, and you guys can again talk, you don't be quiet <laughs> and stuff. Uh, how about we say maybe the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's get going. Do it, do it. Mmm. Woo wee. Creamy coleslaw. Mmm. Delicious. It's very finely minced, there's a good bit of pepper in it. Mm. I'm a big coleslaw person. That is good. Some nice celery or celery salt. Man, I would get more of that. They actually have a uh, all you can eat salad bar here too, which is insane. Out. Oh my green bean! Woo! And uh, apparently Wednesdays and was it Sundays too? All you can eat chicken? Yeah. Guys, I might have to move to Daytona. Holy crap, these beans are. Mm. Super rich, a bit of brine. And where do I start? Let me start with maybe some of this beef. This is a slice eye around. That's good, I've never had that before. So, apparently the sliced meat's really common here. It's very tender. Nice beefy flavor. The smoke of the hickory, which is pretty nice and light on that. No complaint. I'm gonna try it in, um, have some mustard barbecue sauce. I do have some mustard. Wow, I'm gonna try all these sauces here. 
I love a mustard sauce. It's a really nice bite to it. Mmm. Oh wow. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Mm. This is Joel approved. You know what this tastes like? There's definitely a, like a Louisiana style hot sauce in there. Mm. And like a mix with like a barbecue. Delicious. This is kind of like barbecue sauce mixed with Louisiana style. I mean, while I'm on it, let's try some uh, hot barbecue sauce. And they kind of thinly sliced it. It's really cool. It's a, everything's super tender. A little bit more, like the mustard, and less Louisiana flavor. This is the mild. Mm. Cool flavor in that. That was delicious. All right, I'm pumped. I mean, it smelled good, but it tastes damn good too. And we're coming up five minutes. I don't know if you guys can see, but we have two massive racks of ribs back here. I'm gonna try and pull some of these baby backs. And then right up here, there's so much food in front of us. Oh my gosh. Lovely, lovely food. I'll try baby back while it kind of fell apart. Oh my gosh! Woo! Uh, tender. Very tender. Mmm. Rendered perfectly. I have sweet as that sauce in there. By the end. Mm. Not a super heavy smoke, but it is a great flavor. Comments to the chef. <coughs> And hail some water. Um, maybe I'll try this some of this sliced pork. So literally pork shoulder, kind of like pull pork. The slice. Mm. Excuse me. Very good. You get a nice pork flavor. A little bit heavier of a smoke than I'd say like on the uh, the eye. Very nice. Very good sauces. Nice for sure. The pork and the mustard. Square stock. We're on the East Coast. Carolinas are known for mustard sauce and pork. But that love, that delicious flavor is down in Florida too. Let me know down below if you like pickles and onions with your barbecue. Because I tell you what, that is one way to switch things up, change that palate. I like it. It's very like, very common like Texas and stuff. This is the uh, sweet barbecue. Ooh, that is some juicy pork. Ooh, wee. Nice and rich. And then how it's like so thin and cooked beautifully. Literally just fall apart. This is a hot bar just. I gotta say, apparently like I said, really common to have the sliced pork shoulder in this area. It's good. Whole chicken. Move on to that. Barbecue smoked chicken. They actually kind of cut it, which is cool. Like they kind of butterfly it in a way, so that helps that helps things out, you know. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, really nice texture on the skin. And the sweetness. So definitely a little bit of. You know, just sauce the the chicken. Yeah. Definitely get that sweetness on it. 
every night. Try chicken in that. What is that? Flame and sweet. Not bad. I like the Louisiana bag. I'm a big Louisiana style hot sauce person. Give me any favorite hot sauce down below. We're about 14 in Sam. Making our way. Yeah, I think the chicken and the hot. It's my favorite combo. Not the bone. Very good. Great flavor in the barbecue chicken, though. I would definitely give it that. And these wings, the way they're uh, really well cooked. Beautiful texture on them. Love that skin. Everybody make our way through the chicken. And yeah, the chicken that hot is that combo for me. Hi everybody, just our 19 minutes in. To barbecue and chill. Woo! It's very delicious. Definitely the hot sauce, the, the hot like barbecue sauce. On that chicken, there's a combination. And that's what I'm really finding. It's awesome. Every meat has like its best uh, pairing sauce. At least to my preference. Whew. All right. That sausage ribs, it's getting some ribs, had some baby backs earlier. Let's get back in these literal fall off the bone baby backs. Wow. Very good. There's a little bit of the classic sweet on them. A lot of caramelized sugar. Oh yeah. I'm trying to get in that sweet. Arguably, does really even need anything in addition? Thank you. It's kind of throwing whatever. Try the rib mat. Mustard. Also a good combo. Pork and mustard as well. Okay, the straw. Thank you. Of course, I got a sweet tea, guys. Can't have barbecue without tea. Let me know you like to drink with your barbecue down below. You have about that tea light. Woohoo! Try this in the uh, flaming sweet. A sausage and a freaking massive rack of St. Louis style ribs. Woo. Put some of these up here so you can see it. And they look real good. 
Okay. Well, bottom of the ribs, might as well stick with them. Give them a shot. And then I got the beads. Can't forget the beads. Mm. Definitely a little more textured. Still very tender. But, definitely get that richer porky flavor. Heavier pork flavor, you know what I'm saying? And I get a bit more of a, uh, like a meat, like woody cooked flavor, you know? Six minutes in the meat and shell. A lot of meat. Delicious. A lot of meat. I'm ready for a nap after that. Oh man. <laughs> Something. I'm feeling a bad for sure. I really like the uh St. Louis tastes really good with that sweet. That end is all caramelized. Delicious. I'm never sure I'm not sure not. That's what he said. <laughs> this is apparently, apparently the, the St. Louis are two and a half pounds. The rack, so it's a big one. But I mean, I ain't complaining. I'm team big rack. Ribs. Ribs, of course. We're about to do a bigger little rack. Big racks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe yourself, big or little. <laughs> he said he's never tried. Good answer. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> right? <laughs> I like it. Let's stick with that. Stick with that one, right? Well played. Yeah. How old are you? Let's go. All right. Last couple ribs. And then all of the uh, sausage. Uh, excuse me, comes the chef. I think that's it. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I feel, I definitely got some more room now. Ooh. And that iced tea, guys, just saying, I think there's magical <laughs> abilities, magical whatever to iced tea and barbecue. Power made in heaven. Thank you. It tastes too good to let it go to waste. Yes, sir. It's rock and roll. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I'm trying all the sauces. They're all just good at this point. I really like this mustard sauce. I'm a big mustard sauce person. They also make hot sauces here. I didn't get any, but. That was good. All right, now, 
Big fat on the No shortage of food. No shortage of deliciousness, but holy meats. I just sure. All right. Uh, the sausage, they finish this on the grill. As they smoke it, which is great. Mm. Oh, wow. Really good flavor. Oops. It's shaved. Voila. Mm. Great flavor. Beautiful cured note. A little bit of caramelized sugar with that char of sweet sauce. Yeah, I'd say the sauce too. It doesn't need any other sauces. Try it in a variety. $37.50. Sorry, I'm 38. Now past 38 probably. I'm thankful this tastes so good because this is a lot of food. Alright, last but not least. Uh, however many pounds of beans or meats later. Delicious! And really, I'm not complaining. It's a lot of food, speaking objectively. I'm gonna try these beans, let's finish this up. Woo! Really tomato -y. Ooh. Some meat in there. Definitely some of that sweet sauce. It's just nice, the, uh, the Cindy in that. Thanks to the backyard boys. I literally consumed like multiple <laughs> half bottles of sauce. That's a half. That's almost a half. That's almost a half. Not to mention there's two more. <gasps> Excuse me. Woo! Comments to the chef. Comments to the pit boys. Comments to everybody. That was very delicious. I gotta say, Florida got some good food. I have been thoroughly impressed, like really through like the last couple challenges especially. This was amazing, like Daytona. This is a keeper. Yeah. This is not to stay in the backyard. This is, I don't know if you guys do milkshakes, but backyard boys, you know, bringing all the boys to the yard, you know that reference? <laughs> <laughs> you know that reference, let me know down below, but. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Whether there's milkshakes or not, there's a reason to come on by Backyard Boys. I really like this. You know, I think if I had to pick my favorite... Ah, man. And you know what? It's just... I, I don't... I hate to pick a favorite when it's all really, really good. So I'll pick a couple. I'm gonna do that cop out. But quickly let me know your favorite down below what you think your favorite would be here. I gotta say, I think those baby backs are just absolutely amazing. The baby backs were are delicious. You know what was surprisingly really good too? I really liked not only the sausage, which was very, very surprising, but the sliced pork was a really cool addition. Like it was a cool way to have it. I've never had like, you know, kind of pulled porkish like that. Um, and the, the sauces, the combos were great. Like I really liked the, uh, what was it, the sweet, this fiery, the flaming sweet with the eye around. It was the mustard sauce, definitely for the pork. And then the baby backs were perfect the way they were. The sauce was perfect the way it was. The chicken went really well with the hot barbecue sauce. So yeah, anyway, long story short guys, we finally did complete the challenge. Woo. A lot of food, so we're gonna do a good meal free, which is sweet. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, huge thanks to somebody who came out. We had a couple people come on out. Much appreciated. Always appreciate the support. We've got a lot of support in Florida. So, 
some of the events with some really great turnouts. So if you guys are wondering how you keep track of the travels, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube community tab, subscribe, follow, like, voila. But yeah, guys, would recommend. This was awesome. Can't wait to come on back here one day. Maybe I'll go to the Daytona Speedway, and if I do, I know where I'm coming for lunch or dinner, maybe both. <laughs> Definitely for that all-you-can-eat salad bar and chicken. What was it, Wednesdays and Sundays? It's Tuesday today, guys. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah. Anyway, I got this stuff. This was amazing. So, yeah, no complaints. Um, oh, and shout out that coleslaw. You guys do a good coleslaw. Honestly, I would probably get more. You guys have dessert? Banana pudding. I'm not content myself. Maybe I will. Anyway, guys, at that, appreciate you watching. Of course, on the next time, stay happy and hungry, happy eating. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye. We'll see you by dessert. So, until next time, have a good day. All right, here we go. This is Daytona Beach. I can officially say I've, well, I've kind of been to Daytona Beach before, but now here we go. It's video documentation of Daytona Beach. So admittingly, of course, this whole area was quite recently hit by a hurricane. So the beaches apparently are not 100% um, either in their prime condition and or in certain circumstances open officially. So not really sure the proper, um, status of this but nonetheless there's people down here and it's the beach so it is a bit of a cooler day not gonna lie I think it's only supposed to be about 70 degrees right now um, so and you kind of got the you know feel by the water like it's always colder by the water, the air coming off. So while it's, in my opinion, not really a day to sit and relax at the beach, as much as I would love to, um, I was hoping to have a bit more of a beach day, but it's a little cold for my preference in regards to having a beach day. Um, it's still pleasant, it's nice. Where I kind of, I wasn't going to when I kind of felt how cold it was and windy, but it is a nice walk. I mean, it's actually a, it's a very nice beach. I mean, it's very well groomed. It is a, it is quite a large, di um, I guess, I don't know if they call it depth or diameter, however you want to put it. Not diameter, I guess depth, like it's uh, quite a long beach. Not this way, but this way. And I don't know, we'll see how far we walk. I mean, when you're right in the sun, it's kind of warm. The sun's warm, it's just this air that's cold, so pretty cool though. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.